everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to add plugins to your Minecraft 1.18 server. We're going to go over every single step of downloading, installing, and then basically running these plugins on your server. We're going to show you how to find plugins and then once you've found plugins, of course, how to add them and even how to find their configuration files. We're going to go pretty in-depth here. One thing we're not going to do though is uh, show you how to set up a server because we've already got an in-depth guide on how to do that. Our 1.18 video will come out just before this one and when it does, it will be updated right here and this article shows you exactly how to start a Minecraft server as well, specifically a paper Minecraft server. A paper Minecraft server is required to run plugins in Minecraft 1.18, and if you do not have a paper server, you cannot run plugins on your server. So if you have a vanilla server, you have a Forge server, you can't run plugins on either of those. You'll need to convert to paper, and by the way, from vanilla to paper, very easy, not a problem. Forge to a paper server, if you do that, you're going to lose all your mods, you're probably going to break things. So most importantly here, a paper server is what you want, and if you're on a vanilla server, it's very easy to switch over to paper. You literally can just replace your drawer file, or go through this and then move your world over. Either one works, but you need a paper server. You can also set up a paper server quickly and easily at our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to get your paper server set up in just a few clicks, literally like three clicks, in under five minutes, you'll have paper server set up and your plugins added to it. It's super simple and super Easy. We love just Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get plugins installed on our server. Nevertheless, the first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our basically 15 must have plugins for your Minecraft server. All of these plugins will work on your 1.18 server. However, other plugins will also work. As long as a plugin has been updated to Minecraft 1.18, it will work completely on your server without any problems. And there are a bunch of awesome plugins here. Also, if we have a dedicated tutorial for a plugin, it is linked here as well. So you can watch those uh, if you do need more like in-depth information about a specific tutorial, that's where you can get it. Nevertheless, though, this is going to show you some of the best plugins we've been able to find for Minecraft. And in this video, we're gonna be installing a few of them. Specifically, we're going to be installing the player warps plugin right here. You can click on these links right like so to open them up by the way and core protect. These two are the ones we're going to be installing but again any of these will work perfectly fine. For example if we wanted to install NCMMO we could click there and do that as well. Might as well. We'll install NCMMO as well. It is premium though so you will need to create and log in to a spigot account in order to, uh, to do that. But there we go. Awesome. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and get these downloaded. We've got, as you can see, MCMMO, Player Warps, and Core Protect all open here. Once you're on Spigot, which is a very common place to download plugins from, Paper also has their own website for this. Paper, Spigot, and Bucket plugins will all work on your Paper Minecraft server. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Now button, and it will download automatically in the bottom left. You may have to keep or save this file depending on your browser. Mine seems to have just saved without any problems, but if you do have to keep it, it's 100% safe to do so. And on Mozilla Firefox, you may have to save it in the screen for screen, and that's going to be true with all plugins and basically jar files you download. For Player Warps, it's a similar thing. Click on the download button right like so, and it will download. You might have to keep or save it. Core Protect, it actually takes you to our in-depth guide on getting Core Protect. Once you're here, click on the yellow download button to be taken to the download page, and click on the download now button. Again, it's going to save, no problems. However, we do have 1.18 here. This is something I want to mention because testing Minecraft versions 1.18 is something that is kind of important to see, right? You want to see that Minecraft 1.18 is listed. Now, it might not be listed under tested versions. It might be listed as a native version or something like that, but it is going to nevertheless be important that 1.18 is listed because if it is, you're good to go. If it's not listed, then you probably shouldn't use that plugin. Some plugins, 1.17 version will work in 1.18, so it can be worth a shot, but expect some bugs in that case. Most plugins are though updating as we speak. Nevertheless, we minimize our browser. We need to get all of these to our desktop. And by the way, here's our paper server set up and running and, and good to go, right? So paper server already set up on our desktop. To find these plugins, they're gonna be in your downloads folder. Go to the little one icon top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, or if you're on Windows 10 or 11, excuse me, it's gonna be in the center of your screen. Click that Windows icon, type in download, you have this downloads file folder here. Click on that. And then in here, you will find any plugins that you downloaded. Drag them to your desktop. And by the way, you can add plugins after you've added more. Like I can install these three and then can install 30 more if I want to. That's perfectly fine. You can install as many plugins as you want. Now let's go ahead and open up your paper server. And then once we're in here, you should have a plugins folder. If you don't have a plugins folder, you don't have a paper server. So go set one up using the link in the description down below. And then once you've got your paper server, go ahead and open up plugins. Then go ahead and drag and drop player warps, MCMO, core protect, and any other plugins you want to install as long as they're 1.18, they will work into the plugins folder. Then you want to go ahead and just double click or start your server up with run.bat or however you start your server. 
doesn't matter. <laughs> it's going to start it on up and then you'll be good to go. So nevertheless, I'm going to go ahead, do a quick jump cut until we have Minecraft open. Our server will also be running and uh, yeah, that'll be that. See you after a very quick jump cut. So here we are. Minecraft is open. Now you might say your server's not started, but I've been having this weird issue, <laughs> as you can see, where this suddenly doesn't show anything. So you have to hit like space or something like that to kind of force it to work. And that's what I just did. I hit space and backspace and now we're good. But as you can see here, we did have all the plugins kind of open up. We have Core Protect there. We have MCMMO right there. And we have Player Warps right there. Now, Player Warps was disabled because Vault is not installed. Vault is a plugin that is linked in the description down below that's kind of important for a lot of Minecraft servers. Let me go ahead and pull that up. That was honestly an oversight on my part. Vault's not required to run plugins, but it's required for a lot of plugins. And uh, one of the things that that I was mentioning is that not all plugins are updated 1.18, but they still may work. Vault's one of those. Vault's actually a very light plugin, so it works a lot. But like I said, you can install other plugins after the ones you've installed. So stop your server. Always type stop to stop your server right like so, and it will close out of it and then eventually say press any key to continue. Then you can go ahead and just drag and drop another plugin into the plugins folder, right? So we've got to find it. There it is right there. And then here are all of our plugins. We can just go ahead and drag and drop Vault into those if we just take it from our downloads folder and drag and drop it to our desktop and then into the plugins folder. As I said, I'm getting some glitches. There we go. <laughs> now we can go ahead and double click on the run.bat again. It'll start the server back up this time with vaults as well as the other plugins we installed and player vaults or player warps, excuse me, will work because vault is a dependency. Like I said, vaults very much so required for pretty much most Minecraft plugins, but not all of them, right? Probably, probably even 30% of Minecraft plugins do require vault. Anyway, we can now go ahead and jump on into not play.breakdowncraft.com, but our local host, which is where this server is hosted, and we'll be able to see that these plugins are installed by in game using a handy little command. So once you've opt yourself in your server, come over here and type op and then your username. I'm already opt, by the way, so it's not gonna do anything, but we can go ahead and type slash plugins, right like so, and there are all the plugins installed. We have Core Protect, we have MCMMO, we have Player Warps, and we have Vault. So for Player Warps, we can do pwarp set here, for example, and then we can do slash p warp, and then it will open up a handy little GUI. Go into all warps, and there is our warp. We can p warp back for core protect. That's going to be COI. So let's go ahead and break a few blocks right like so, and then we can do slash co space i. And then come up here and say, hey, what happened right here? And as you can see, I broke some blocks. Hey, I don't want that. We can roll back co roll back, and then we can just go. We'll just do something simple. Radius of five time of one hour, bam, and it's back right like so. And then last but not least, there was another one we installed, MCMMO, and uh, I guess MCMMO, we just need to what, start breaking some blocks, would probably be the best way to, uh, we could also just do slash MCMMO. Right, like so, and there's all the information. So nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That's how you can add plugins to your Minecraft 1.18 server. It does need to be a paper server. That's the biggest takeaway. It's gotta be paper. If it's not paper, it's not gonna work. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.